When Christ, the light of the world, came on this earth, the powers of darkness could not stand on his way. A few come to torment us before the time. Hey, hey, hey. They couldn't stand. He wasn't talking to devils. People talk to devils today and say, what's your name? Where are you coming from? What are you doing? What is this discussion about? Darkness. Light has no dark discussion with darkness. Light arrives. Darkness goes. There's no point. People all kinds of mechanicals today. What's your name? Where are you from? Are you from Jamaica? From somewhere? <laughs> One time they were casting out the devil somewhere. Back then, the ladies of the ministry, that demon possessed person just stood up and gave one of them a slap. I said, my God. <laughs> you see darkness trying to cast out darkness. Darkness trying to cast out darkness. I don't need that. Somebody's story is changing today. <laughs> Luke chapter 8 and verse 28, please. Luke 8, 28. When this demoniac saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him with a loud voice said, what have I to do with you, Jesus, the son of God? I beseech thee, torment me not. <laughs> light will always torment darkness. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. So when the light came, darkness had no choice. Check Luke chapter 3 verse 34. Let us alone. That's a demonic <laughs> possessed person. What are we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth, art thou come to destroy us? Light destroys darkness. Darkness at the mercy of light. Darkness is at the mercy of light. The strength of darkness is in the absence of light. The strength of darkness is in the absence of light. My people are destroyed for lack of light. Lack of knowledge. They are going to captivity because they have no knowledge. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. <laughs> Today, your captivity is over. Yeah. I said your captivity is over. Yeah. Your captivity is over. Yeah. Access to light is the only way to be set free from 